What is going on, all you gamers, professional and casual out there in the world? I am the game. So thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, great to have you here. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for the support as always. Really, really appreciate it. And this is a special one because I'm going to be going to PAX East for the first time. It is currently the Friday night uh, of PAX weekend. I'm only going for the Saturday, but I figured, you know what? Well, it's my first time. Why don't I make like a little almost like travel vlog? I don't know how in-depth it's going to be. Probably not. I don't know what I'm going to be even able to record, but I figured, you know what? Might as well set it up just in case. I'm um, really looking forward to it, but I figured I would bring you along the journey with me. Maybe in case you'd be curious about PAX in general, never been. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be seeing it through the first time viewer's eyes, so maybe not the best reference point, but still, I think it'll be fun. Um, so I'm going to hit the hay right now because I got to be bright up and early to get on the train and meet some friends at a hotel before we head over to the convention center. So... We'll see you there. <sighs> Good morning. Oh man, it's so early. I gotta get up, get to the train. I haven't got much time to go and I gotta, whoa. Hello? Looking a bit like a future rock star over here, am I right? Well, I guess we gotta go head out to the train then. So we just got off the train. It's a bit windy and cold out today. I should have brought gloves, but welcome to Boston. This is the city. I've been here before, but uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be about a 20-minute walk to the hotel, and then I'll meet up with some friends there. So it should be fun. I'll try to uh, embrace the cold. In the meantime, the wind is honestly strong. I'm worried it's gonna literally break this arm. So we will see what happens, but hopefully we're good. We are at the convention center. Ignore the ATM. There it is. We're heading in. See if we get in. We are heading in. It's just about that time. It's actually a few minutes past 10 where they open, but uh, look at this crowd. There's a lot of people, a lot of traffic. A lot of nerds. Oh, yeah, a lot of nerds. <laughs> We're gonna go check it out inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are on our way in. It's a nice coat check. I don't know if any of us need to drop off coats. Look at all that. Very color coded. You love to see it. Whole crowd rushing into the expo hall. Here we go. Yeah, I'm glad it's parts, you know, vendors yeah. and all that. Really we are up on, what is this called again? Oh, yeah. Skybridge? Skybridge. Skybridge? I don't know. Something like, like that's that. That's what just we're it, but I think it it's sounds just... cool. Got a lot of Bird's merchandise eye. over there. You can't see the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom thing from here, but uh, it's on the other side. Uh, there's something Pokemon over there, so that's cool. Uh, I see, oh, I see the Mario Tennis Aces set up. Oh, that's the Nintendo versus Arcade. That's what that is. Check out the other side here. Ooh, drinks with frenemies, love it. Uh, All right, there's a lot of D&D stuff this year, right? Yeah, there is, there is, it's cool. I'd love to see it. Yeah, that's super cool. They have Wormwood too, which is like a local fancy like woodworking place that like, makes all sorts of beautiful tabletop. Like, that's stuff. super cool, I love that. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Nice, food courts down that way, cool. Look, look, it's Luigi. It's Charlie Day! What a lad! Look at these cool Pokemon themed shirts. That's super cool. Low key would love the Hoot Hooters. That's a good one. Brian, you're not actually getting the Hoot Hooters, are you? I think I am. <laughs> That's great. Uh, there's so many good ones. So I've had one person say that my costume is really good and then someone approached me for a picture and I don't know how to feel about all the attention, but it's fun. I like it. So we're going to try to go find Kirby Air Ride. Yeah, right, right. There it is. Tears of the Kingdom set up from Nintendo. Who even is that? Who cares about Link? Hi-Fi Rush game of the year. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, look at that. that. Got a lot of amiibo. Probably gonna buy a couple, we'll see. Ooh, what do they got? And television, that's deep good. We got some Genesis stuff. If you see anything Dreamcast, let me know. I saw a Dreamcast, I hope. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, it's cool. We're out here at the food trucks. <laughs> they got a nice little setup there. We're getting some pork dumplings. Sound good, they smell good, it's, it's cold out. It's really good. What do we think? Good food? Ah! <laughs> That's going in. That's going in. A 
Oh, it's so cool. Some competitive Pokemon. The Play Lab. There's some Pokemon here. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I know SpongeBob was over here. Where'd SpongeBob go? Oh, yeah, there's that SpongeBob one. Yeah, because it's CHQ Nordic. Yeah, let's check that out. I don't know if it's playable at all, but. What a. Oh, is that Street Fighter 6? I think that's Street Fighter 6 over there. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Look at that. Are those the fans? Those the yeah. Fans? I guess so. Yeah, look at that. Is it all I don't know. Cool. Taking a bit of a breather, relaxing. How we doing? Doing good, doing good. Hell yeah! Hello. Oh, actually, WrestleQuest. I think that's a that's a game that's coming out. I think. Yeah, there's people playing it right there. Yeah, is that that might be the RPG one? Yeah. That's super cool. That's oh, they're going. Funny, oh, they're going. That was intense. That's a good, those are great cosplays. Absolutely. How tall do <laughs> you think that hat is? Uh, ten gallons. Yeah, pretty good guess. Uh, yes. <laughs> you can turn to your right and attach your seat to like a giant like digital map mounted and it swivels. Look at this cool artwork they got here. Yeah, ooh, what is that? Is that a heart? Is that a heart? Yeah. yeah. A heart. That's kind of cool. It looks like those little thumb pianos. Oh, I see it, yeah. Like other in yeah, school. that's like a guitar. This is my haul so far today. Shulk and Lucina. That's not what he sounds like. Holding a sign that said like Chris Pratt or something. Oh, that was funny. Very hard to see, but that out there is the Super Mario Brothers movie van. Maybe Mario and Luigi are, you know, doing some shrooms in there. You never know. But uh, it's a better view of the Link statue. Nice pose, bro. It's getting killed by Link right there. Look at that. You call that, you call that Game of... Zelda. What? Okay. It says it right on the side. That's true, it does say Zelda though, you're right. Right, exactly. Oh, it's tomorrow. What is the tournaments? The yeah. That's cool, I didn't realize. Not today. I'm glad that we found a short list, or I found a short list of games that I want to play. Yeah, that's super cool. You're playing this game on the OG Xbox called Steel Battalion. They got a whole mech set up with the joy, uh, the joysticks here and the buttons and stuff. This was super cool. We're gonna jump in and see how this goes. to try it out. It's gonna be a bit of a wait, but it should be fun. Looking forward to it. Just tried out the Mina the Hollower demo, and that was a ton of fun. I'm very much looking forward to trying that game out. Should be super cool. Definitely go check it out. If uh, you want some more info on it, go check it out, Yakov Games. Wrapping up, just got out of the barbershop quartet and it was really good. So we're just heading back to the hotel, checking out last minute sites of the expo hall shutting down. Booth's getting taken down, it was a day of fun. Right, so, right, we went to this, this sports bar, right? Yes, we did. Right? Because they advertised that it was going to be a PAX East after party. Actually, right? they advertised the greatest game night. Yeah, the greatest game night, right? They're going to have it on, they specifically mentioned 24-inch TV with Mario Kart. Show the 24-inch TV. 
Oh, how do I? I don't right have behind you. Look at this. There's the game. First quarter. There, there's, 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 the, there's the greatest game night. Literally a waste of money. Five. Teach you Pokemon. We found a much better place to go to. This is where all the professional gamers are. All the, it's, it's flipped. Um, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Ah! Goodbye, Pax. Until hopefully next year. For now, gotta head back to the train station and catch that train back. So I am back from Pax East 2023. Just got off the train and I'm back at my place now and it was a ton of fun. I just want to, I, I want to mention a few shout outs afterwards, but I just want to say really fun first packs. Um, from what I've heard from my friends who I went with who have been for years, like definitely compared to previous years, mainly before lockdown, the pandemic, um, it was a lot bigger, but I don't know. It was nice to have some like actual walkable space and some breathing room a little bit separate from everything. So that was super nice. Um, highlights for me. I mean, the barbershop quartet easy was so good. Um, I will, leave some links and shout outs later um, to go check those guys out. Um, and the Mean of the Hollower demo was really fun. Um, I wasn't like super hyped about that game, like going into it, but like after playing it, it's been, it's really fun. Um, it's kind of like almost like a Castlevania Link's Awakening hybrid. And it's really tough. So like there's a good amount of challenge there. I'm looking forward to seeing, um, I don't even know if we know about a release date, um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing more of that game in hopefully the near future. Um, so those two were definitely highlights for me for sure. Um, but it was just a really fun time overall. I got to see some cool panels, um, went to an after party that was kind of fun. It was okay. It wasn't really anything official. Um, but it was a fun time. Things, the goals I want to set for myself for next year, cause I'm pretty sure I want to go next year. I want to do the two days rather than the one. I just went to the Saturday this year just because it was my first time. I figured I'd just do the one day, see how I like it. And I mean, I definitely liked it a lot. So I think the two days would be ideal. First day, kind of like get a lay of the land, see what's around, you know, cause it changes every year. And then Sunday might actually be a better day for like playing different game demos too. If it's less crowded, um, they just close up shop earlier. So, but I think that's something I want to do next year when I go, um, other goals. I want to get more pictures of people with cosplays. Like that was another highlight for me. I got to say, if you, and not that anybody's going to be watching this <laughs> video, but if, if any of you watching like stopped, but I had like 10 different people stop me and say like, Hey, can I take a picture of you or with you? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, why not? I'm just, I'm not used to the attention, but it, gen it genuinely means so much to me. So like, thank you. I really appreciate it. Anybody who just complimented it. Um, I was pretty nervous going into it and, you know, a bit of social anxiety running into it. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun to meet up with people, but I, there were so many cool costumes. I saw like, um, a Bayonetta one costume. Someone was dressed up as Shantae, um, a few zero suit Samus's. Um, there was someone who had like a couple that had, um, the gen three Pokemon, like the sunstone one. Um, sorry if I'm butchering the names and then Lunatone, I know is the other one, but the sun one, I always mess up soul rock or something like that. And they turned it into like medieval armor. So like, I think the, the dude was the soul rock, whatever. Um, like almost like heavy, like, you know, um, like medieval armor. And then, um, the other person, uh, was Lunatone and they had like a mage outfit themed after Lunatone. It was super cool. It was just, it was very creative. So that was honestly really cool. And saw some Tom Nooks. Um, so there was a Banjo and Kazooie I saw there. Someone was the Dragon Quest eight pro tag. There was like, there's so many people there. It was, it was honestly overwhelming, but it was so cool. I like, I would always say like, Oh, nice costume. It was a proto man one too. And like, I would say like, nice costume. That's awesome. But like, I don't know, personally, like, I'm not, like, super, like, comfortable just asking for photos, but I think it's so cool, you know what I mean? So, I mean, obviously, you know, I would have to ask first, um, but that's something I would like to do just to, like, you know, kind of show, see the different costumes, and it's kind of a cool memory to have. Um, there was another goal I was thinking of, and I forget. Oh, my other goal next year would be check out more demos, because I only tried Mean of the Hollower this year, and there was some other stuff, like, 30XX looked kind of cool. Um, I think Inti Creates had something at their booth, um, there was something, I think Angerfoot from uh, Devolver Digital, I don't care about that game, but it looks really funny. So like, I would have been down to check that out. And there's so many other games too, you know, that I honestly, I would have loved to 
spend the time. I think with another day, I would have had more time to do that. And also check out more panels too. We didn't go to too many panels. Um, there was one my friends and I went to that wasn't super interesting, but we just kind of stayed for a bit just to listen in. Um, but just do more stuff. That's what I want to do. Another, I think another day would be awesome. Maybe no more than two, but I think that would be great. Um, so like I said, like, thank you to everybody. Um, you know, shout outs to anybody who, like I said, who came up and like complimented me or like asked for photos. Like that was honestly super flattering. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, shout out to the Good Vibes Gaming community, of course, for having their fan meetup. Shout out to Ash Paulson for organizing that. Um, even though I'm not like super, uh, present in their community always, like I'm always like listening to the podcast and everything, um, and watching their videos on YouTube and everybody was super nice. So it was nice to kind of talk to some of the people there and kind of sit down and just kind of all have like a collective bonding moment over being part of this community. Um, so go check out their YouTube and their Patreon. I will try to link those below in the description. Also shout out, like, like I said earlier to the barbershop quartet Bioshop infinite, I believe is their name. Um, they did, of course, the Cuphead songs, um, but they also did a few from Bioshock Infinite, and they had an Elden Ring song, which was actually really cool, and then they did a bunch of, like, uh, traditional Barbershop Quartet songs, too, so really, I mean, live music is always great, and that was a highlight for me, for sure. Please go check them out if you're interested. Give them credit. Give them props. Um, I'll try to link their stuff below, too, um, and otherwise, I mean, yeah, shout out to Yacht Club for the awesome Mean of the Hollower demo, and uh, shout out to my friends, Ryan and Mary, for letting me hang out with them and give me the lay of the land, and hey, shout out to you. Last, last but certainly not least for you if you watch this far i really appreciate it it's just kind of a fun little thing to vlog my first packs who knows maybe i'll do it next year too if i end up going which i probably will at this point but maybe i'll do it again i don't know it could be fun let me know what you think um what you thought of the video i mean editing is probably gonna be shit i know but i just that's me that's my style so let me know what you thought um let me know if you went to pack seats and you know if you wore a costume or not or what you did what you enjoyed um, and what you'd recommend for future years. I, I always want to consider recommendations from everybody. So thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you on my next video live stream. Until then, take care for now.